Hello everyone, it's been a while since I've posted a real video on YouTube, but um, today a friend had displayed with me of one of his problems, putting a roof on a house using images, so I'm ready to get started. Alright, so first off, yeah, as you can see, I already built my walls, and I already extruded them, now I just got to put the roof on. As you can see, there are no details in this. Well, that's not the point of this video. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright. So, first off, how do we start? Well, we want to start by how far the eave will go out. And we also want to know the roof pitch. We have this paper here that shows a flat view of the house, good elevation. We can actually use this to determine that. So what I already did here is you can see some lines have been drawn on it. Uh, the door I'm going to assume was six foot eight, so I use that and I resized the component for that. I think maybe in another video I'll show that. But as you can see, then therefore that's the scale, so this whole thing scaled correctly. So, just to see in this little zoom in how far this eave juts out, we will go to the little measuring tape tool, click here until the end. So what it looks like, it's about 11, no, closer to about a foot out, we'll give it about that. We'll assume a foot, because it's very close to that. So the eaves all jut out of one foot. So we're going to make a roof. Right. We are going to make this a group. I just copied it. I'm going to make it a group. And remove it back onto the house. So we're going to offset it, use the offset tool, one foot outward. And then, how high are the eaves? How tall are they? We'll go back to our reference. Uh, six inches. And of course, I'm using the English measurement system. So if you're from Europe or other places, you'll be using the metric system. Uh, just know you need to use that. But I'm using the English measurement system because that's what I've learned. Now we're going to bring these up six inches. Now what I've also seen here is that not everything is... When you're given a project, sometimes you will see that the roof eaves aren't the exact same height. So there's some variation. So you will see that this tall hip here pretty much kind of starts here. And there's another part that will... So I'm going to go ahead and make the roof however it needs to be. Also just remember what you learned in, for the simple roofs isn't going to always be the same as what you learned, what it's going to be for the more complex roofs like this one. So I'm not going to say this is anything for real beginners, um, should I say. It's kind of like you got a kind of no sketch up in a way, but I'm basically telling you some of the tools. So now we want to determine the roof pitch. How to do that? Go back to the reference material. As you can see, the roof pitches are here. You can just determine that. I'm going to just start by tracing. 
So it shows a line. And when we determine pitch, we'll go um, we'll go out some and then we'll drop some. So it's kind of like rise over run. But what we're going to do is we're going to go out a foot. Type in one foot, enter. And we'll see how far down it goes. So then it goes down about one foot. So we're going to assume a 45 degree slope. Or, you know, a one by one or whatever. So, and it looks like most of the house is that. So we're going to go back into our group. And we're going to draw something that's pretty much you see I made a one foot by one foot triangle go through the center Now I'm just going to do some free work here. Um, not everything is the most um, conventional way that people or most people are familiar with in doing this stuff, but it's just how I know it. So if you find other ways, uh, good. that's good. Good for you. you know? um, but this is just how I know it. And going to start kind of working my way through here, here, I'm just using a whole bunch of the copy tool just so then you know I don't have to redraw the slopes. Just keep going back to the reference material. As you can see, I'm going literally as fast as I can. I'm not even going to bother with this little lip, with this little bay window thing here, just because, you know, it's not the point. Um, let's see, what else do we want to do? Oh yeah, let's extend this out a bit. And it's still one foot out. And we'll work with this in a little bit. Alright. Um, as you can see, the slope is all the same over here. Ah, sorry, my mouse is not working properly sometimes. Alright, one. Now, obviously, that's for the gables and such, but what about the hip? Hip is what most people struggle with, so we're going to do that. We'll outline the area that the hip will be a part of. Just kind of making our corners there. Um, then, as for our hip, the uh, what was that? slope will be the same, assumingly. So we're just going to go ahead and pull that out with the same slope, general same slope. Oh, better. No, I got a better idea. We'll just do the one by one by one. So I'm using one foot by one foot. I'm going up one foot. 
and we'll make one of the ribs. Do the same over here. One foot. And as you can see, I'm just using a whole bunch of the line tool. You got that. Make a copy of it. I'm just flipping it along. So I don't have to redraw all that. Again, this is how I know it. This may not be how you know it, but it's how I know it. And then we'll just have to we'll just do some connecting. A lot of erasing tool. Ah, bad. Make sure that these are flush and level. Otherwise then you're going to have a mistake somewhere and you're going to have to fix it. And as you can see, this is kind of this is coming along. Now we're gonna deal with the um now we're gonna go ahead and deal with the raised eaves. So I already kind of did my own calculations and kind of just looks like this is about like a almost a one foot difference or something like nine inches. We'll go with nine inches. Um and then this is the back of the house as you saw. So we're gonna deal with that. And as I said before, well, that's what I'll deal with later. Well, later is now, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll bring it out to however much I need it. And then go ahead and raise it out nine inches. I'm just using the move tool. So, by judging by what I see here. I'm just kind of figuring out a, a slope. So, don't mind this. So, one foot by four is the slope. Kind of do that. One foot, like we did before. Four. Just that. Then the front of it sort of has a raise as well. I'm just going to go ahead and assume it's the same. Um, <clears throat> sorry, that something in my throat. All right. Just kind of drawing it. And then I'll take this line. This valley and move it up. Take this valley and move it up. Right now I'm just doing a whole bunch of rough work. And I'm just moving these ridges.
And then I'm here, I'm just marrying them with the pink um, perpendicular lines. That's all I'm doing. And just go ahead and clean it up before it's raised. Now, I mean, to do something with the porch, you know, that juts out a bit. So we're going to do that. Very easy to do. Just go out however far you need to go. And use your same eave distances. One foot is that. Just making copies here. Like that. That's not what I wanted to do. I just want to erase them, clean them up. Like that. I'm just marrying them together. As you can see, the green, um, they are level. Like that. I say like that a lot. And I don't care. Um, let's see. And, you know, just to, for decorational purposes, a little dormer, whatever. I'm just going to assume that it's centered with this wall back here. And it's set back a foot. Up here. So we're going to do that. I'm just drawing guides. So my assumption is that it's centered with these two pillars here. I'm just drawing a guide so I can make the um, point correct. Actually, that's not what I want to do. What I forgot is that it ends here. Not start. fixed. Just drawing it on like so. Drawing guides. When I draw when I draw on SketchUp I use a lot of guides. Just copying and pasting. And there you have it. You have a roof. The soffits. Well, kind of eaves. I'm going to clean that up. Alrighty then. Then, you know, it's a thing. It's a whatever it's called, a group. So you can pull it away and see what you need to see. Details are all subject, all up to you. Alrighty then. One last look. Let's clean up any imperfection. And there you go. One complex roof using pages. Alrighty then. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.